Set in the rural backdrop of South Plymouth sits Three Hearts Farm, a nonprofit agricultural initiative that provides a safe, peaceful space for veterans to relax and de-stress. Also located at Three Hearts is something you don't see at other farms, a large trailer that holds an advanced hydroponic system, which produces fresh produce for sale in the community. Diane Hart, the farm's primary grower, gave us a tour of this unique and sustainable process. Hi, I'm Diane Hart, and I'm the main grower here at Three Hearts Farm. This is a hydroponic uh, growing facility where we grow mainly uh, lettuce and greens and some edible flowers. This is where it all starts. We have um, grow plugs right here that we put in these little cylinders. And we take pelleted seeds with a tweezer and put them in every single hole. There are 200 here and 200 here. So that's the beginning. We bring them over here to the nursery and cover them up with a dome. And they stay here and when they all sprout, we take the dome off and they start to grow. This is um, Thai basil that we have here and a starstruck mix and some different um, seedlings. They stay here for three weeks in the nursery and when three weeks is over, they're ready to be transplanted. So I'll take you down here and show you some transplants. Here we have some Genovese basil and these are um, Swiss chard that we planted. These are also uh, seedlings. This is arugula and some other yummy lettuce. These are pretty much all ready. We'll be ready to harvest in about two weeks. So they stay in the nursery three weeks and they stay in the cultivation tank for four weeks. And then we harvest and we're ready to pick and bring them to you. So we'll move over and I'll show you some of the pretty unique um, crops that we're growing here. If you notice, everything is in a different stage of growing, and that's because uh, we stagger our growing so that we, every single week we transplant, we, um, sorry, we harvest two different kinds, or three different kinds of lettuces for our mixed bags. So, so many people are always asking for um, Swiss chard, and so on the other side we have transplants here we have um, some plants that are ready to harvest. And this is called Bright Lights Swiss Charge. And it's so pretty. So down here we have some oak leaf lettuce, um, not ready again for about two weeks. And as I said, we stagger them. So down here are my favorite types of bib lettuce. Aren't they pretty? I turned it into a lettuce geek, but I think they're so pretty. They're uh, ready to harvest next week, so this will be part of our next week harvest, a red and green bed. So we'll move over. If you, um, oh, I forgot to tell you about the lights. Um, so this is a double panel of lights, LED lights, and there are four sets of lights, one on the outside of each part of the grow facility and a double one here and you'll be able to see them when we move down. So there are panels of lights, one down here, one on the left, and two in the middle, which leaves us four grow panels. I move these over to a certain point at the end of the day before we turn the lights on. So okay, let's take a look at this kale. This is uh, some baby kale, which I come down and harvest. I've also already harvested. I think I cut these a little too short, but they're coming back. And uh, more seedlings down here. This is a cute little crop called Tendita, and it's really a hardy romaine. In case you like to use this as a wrap or um, even as a decoration, they're pretty nice. Our final grow wall
host this week's harvest. So these are grow panels and they contain one, two, three, four, five channels. Each channel has two pieces of foam rubber with a white felt strip in between. We take the seedlings and put them in, in between the two pieces of foam and make contact with the felt. Once they make contact and we turn the water on, there's a drip emitter at the top of each one of these. I'll show you. You can see the drip emitters. And they'll, when we turn everything on, the drip, they'll drip behind this each channel and make contact with felt, which hold the seedlings. So that's how they all grow. This is ready to, um, this is called a starstruck mix. This is so pretty. I love the greens in it, the different color and the textures. This is my favorite called Pomegranate Crunch. It's a, a nice red um, romaine. Again, if you like to have, have your lunch in wraps, this is perfect. These are called nasturtiums, which if they're um, edible flowers. I did get a couple of flowers from them, but not many. But if you've ever t wanted to taste something um, that is sweet, at the beginning, finishing up with a very peppery taste. Come and taste some of these leaves because that's what this does. It's really, really good. It's better than arugula. This is uh, Thai basil, which is um, also, if you've ever had any um, Thai food, um, this is a really uh, unique taste to Thai food. Um, it, to me, it tastes like black licorice. And finally, we have more Thai basil that we just transplanted this week. So you can see how they fit in between each one of these little uh, pieces of foam. And down here, we have radishes. These are kind of cool. They grow out, and they're called uh, breakfast radishes. They're finger radishes, so they're going to be about as long as my finger. The other thing I wanted to tell you about how plants grow in here is this is our CO2 duct. And what we do is pump in CO2 into this room so that our plants can grow bigger. So if you remember back to your biology class or your science class, um, plants breathe in CO2 and breathe out oxygen in order for photosynthesis to take place. And um, so yeah, I've loved working here. I volunteer here. I wouldn't have it any other way. This is the best retirement place I could, I could ever spend my time. And I have lots of help too. Three Hearts Farm is located at 232 Beaver Dam Road and opens to the public at 10 a.m. Mondays through Saturdays. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like and subscribe button before you go. We'll see you next time.